Aqua de Jo Profondo Parfum. I mean, hey, it sounds pretty good to me. I love the original Profondo. I think it's a fantastic marine scent that brings something new to this style of scent in general, but it also kind of brought something new to the Aqua de Jo lineup. At this point, there have been many flankers, a lot of which have been pretty successful, pretty popular. One of my favorites, of course, is Profumo, now known as the Parfum. That stuff's great and it's irreplaceable. It's a bit darker and richer, um, and it will be the most dark and kind of complex and more nighttime oriented compared to all of the others in the lineup. Profondo is more of your lighter, oceanic, kind of minerals, marine style that just takes a, a different approach and kind of breathes some new life into this DNA and this line, which has been worked pretty hard at this point. I mean, the original Aqua de Joe came out in the 90s, you know, so it's it's been around for a while. Absolute Profondo Lights, Absolute Instinct, the Eau de Parfum, right? There have been so many along the way. So I'm curious to see what they've done with the Parfum flanker here. So um, I guess that puts Profondo as an Eau de Parfum, which I never really paid any attention to, but it's an Eau de Parfum. Always been a, a good performer on me, always been a great summer scent. I'm excited to try this one out. For what it's worth, I will also link this one down below. You can buy it right now, I think it's 129 bucks. Uh, I bought it for a bit less than that. When it first came into stock, it was like 105 or something, 110. And um, you know, I sent out a notification about it, an email and a text, and then a little while after that, the price went up a bit. Uh, but still, in the grand scheme of things, 130 that's not bad at all for a brand new designer release. I mean, this isn't even available at retail yet, and you can already get it below retail. One other thing, 100 milliliters. So this is not a 125 like a lot of the others are. You know, they go 75, 125, 200, okay? Um, 100, so a little bit less in terms of the amount, uh, but price is still going to be up there. You know, again, we're talking a parfum flanker. Aqua de Jo Parfum is a 125. So this bottle, this 100 ml bottle, is something a bit new. And you can tell there is a size difference here. That's not going to really show you much, but you can kind of see that a little bit. I, just something kind of cool to point out. So let's go ahead and try it. Ooh, another thing you guys are going to like. Magnetic cap is back. They brought it back for this Parfum release. They went over to the click style, which kind of sucks, but it's back for this. So nice improvements here. And this is already something exciting and a lot more different than I thought it was going to be. I really was expecting this to be very close to Profondo with just a little variation, but that opening is something substantially different. There's a kind of a, a sweet floral component behind there that was not really existent at all in the original Profondo. Uh, there would be many ways to describe Aqua de Jo Profondo Eau de Parfum. Sweet would not be one of them. That would never be a descriptor that would come into my mind when smelling that, but I'm getting that immediately here. Now, it's not like a winter scent or something like that sweet, but there is just a a noticeable extra layer to this that was just not there in the original. And I think we would probably mostly expect that because it's a parfum flanker, but you know, it's cool to see that they're kind of actually taking that approach because sometimes parfum flankers will be not necessarily all that similar to what it's a flanker of, and they might just change the DNA completely. You know, brands have been known to do that, but this is a parfum that makes sense. I want to focus a little bit more on the bottle quickly. Gradient from a kind of a deep, rich ocean blue down to clear. Uh, Profondo, the original, has like a lighter, uh, more matte finish to it. So the bottle itself has a texture that's kind of a matte finish and it's just a little bit more flat. This one has a glossy blue. So let's take a look at the note breakdown for this one. Up top, we have marine notes and green mandarin. In the mid, we have mimosa. In the base, we have patchouli and labdanum. So a little bit to unpack there, although not a ton. That's still not a, a huge note breakdown to work with, but definitely for sure picking up on marine notes. I think that's kind of a given. So uh, kind of an aquatic undertone. However, it doesn't have the mineral smell that the original Profondo has. 
that's absent here. I'm not really getting that. Definitely getting some orange. It's providing probably some of that sweetness that I've been referencing, just kind of a, a kind of a, a green mandarin smell, just like described here. Just adding a little bit of a sweetness, but with a slight fresh balance. Mimosa, that's kind of a floral. So they describe this as a very sweet powdery floral note with light green and woody nuances. So I think that's probably also where we're picking up on some sweet undertones here. Again, nothing crazy. It's not a, a sweet cold weather scent. It's still very summer oriented. Take a look at you know something like Le Beau, by Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Beau Le Parfum, and even Le Beau Paradise Garden. Summer scents with a little bit of a sweetness. This smells nothing like those, but is following a similar approach where they're just kind of throwing in a bit more into the mix here for the summer scent, just making it a bit more interesting and they're kind of going against the grain a little bit. And then finally in the base we have patchouli and labdanum. So patchouli, a beloved note that we got in Aqua de Joe Profumo, kind of giving it this extra layer of a, a mystery and, and kind of a heavier, woody, more masculine undertone, kind of going along with the smokiness as well. So I love to see patchouli being brought back. And then labdanum. So that's kind of giving off a, a little bit of a sweet, kind of uh, not necessarily straight up iris smell, but a bit of a sweet, ever so slightly animalic undertone just to kind of tie everything back together here in this, this dry down, just kind of adding in some different touches that we wouldn't normally get. So kind of circling back here, again, this is wildly different than the original Profondo. I see this as a great release, just given the fact that it's not redundant, and that's really a fine line. It could have smelled just like Profondo, but they just up the performance, right? And then. For a lot of people, the performance is already good, might not be worth a purchase. But what they did here was they you know, took that DNA, that existing DNA, which is already great, they're just making it better, quote unquote better, depending on what you're after. And I think that's probably something that I should reiterate here. I'm not gonna say this is better than the original Profondo. It's not cut and dry in this instance. It depends solely on what you're after. Say for example, Mansara Cedrat Boise versus Mansara Intense Cedrat Boise. Eau de Parfum versus Parfum. My opinion is that the Intense is better, the Parfum is better, and that's the one that you should get. My opinion, that's how I look at it because that's an example of taking that existing one and just making it stronger and that's about it. But again, with Profondo Parfum versus the original, the scent itself has changed drastically. So that's something you'll wanna keep in mind if you're deciding to purchase this one or try it out. I could see this one as being a great evening alternative, one that would layer perfectly. Get up in the morning, go into work, go into school, spray on Profondo, the original. Once you get home and maybe you're gonna go out with some friends or go out on a date or something, you could spray on Profondo Parfum with a little bit of a sweet evening appeal. It's gonna layer perfectly and now you're good to go for the evening. That's just one use case that this could be uh, you know, implemented in. It's not jumping off my skin, not to the level that the original Profondo is, very far par for the course with a Parfum concentration. So I could see this one being a little bit closer to the skin, but uh, you know, staying in it for the long run in terms of longevity. So kind of an intimate projection and delivery, but really good above average longevity, I hope. Can't say for sure yet, but given most of the others, like the Parfum, Profumo, even the original Profondo do pretty good in terms of longevity, just given what they are, I don't see why this one wouldn't. I can't beat up the price point at all on this one. 130 right now is what it's going for. A lot of you guys who are on my mailing list and texting list got it for less than that. I have zero complaints. I think this is a really good release that has already hit discounters at a price that is unbeatable. I mean, this is right around the same price, a little bit more than the new Aqua de Joe Parfum. It's uh, right around the same price roughly as the Eau de Parfum. So it's really not bad at all. If you're a fan of the Aqua de Joe lineup in general, like myself and a lot of you guys are, this is worth trying. And especially if you are a fan of Profumo, this is a great one I think could provide a lot of value. That's it guys, I love it. I think it's a great release. I'm glad that they went the direction that they did and they made it different and not just Profumo or Profondo, but stronger. You know, they actually reworked the DNA in a way that it, uh, 
it makes sense. And I think it's uh, pretty cool to see. I'll link this one down below. And again, if you guys wanna be the first to hear about new fragrances like this, hitting discounters before they're even available at retail, or rare discontinued, hard to find fragrances coming into stock as well, jump on my mailing list and texting list. It's completely free to sign up and every time stuff like this pops up, people on those lists are the first to know and a lot of times things sell quick. So you wanna make sure you're on there and you have your chance to get whatever it is that's popping up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.